It was a gloomy Friday, February 28th, when Nigeria announced its very first case of the Chinese coronavirus disease, COVID-19, via an Italian expatriate. An outbreak the federal government has been battling to curtail its spread. The Lagos State government quickly swung into action with the quarantine of the Italian expatriate at the infectious disease hospital, Yaba. We had gone out. Our people are out there now trying to track every of um, uh, suspected interaction um, that this patient might have had contact with and we're ready. Our facility has been fortified to um, continue, if need be, of any form of tests and um, containment, if, if need be. The important thing to know now is that the patient is confined. We have aggressively started to identify all his contacts all the way to the airline, and that process started around 3 a.m. Uh, this morning. Days later, another contact of the index case is confirmed to have the coronavirus disease. The Minister of State for Health visits Lagos for the first time since the outbreak in an attempt to give update, douse the tension and reassure Nigerians. We understand that the case uh, is one of the uh, contacts already um, established from the index case, that is the Italian that came into the country. Um, well, we understand that that, that uh, new case is not as at now manifesting any symptoms. But uh, there was just a suspicion that, okay, let's uh, screen uh, by uh, doing the test. And uh, he tested positive. It, that's in Ogun State. With the outbreak and global spread of COVID-19 sending scores of persons across the world to their early graves and nations like Italy putting over 16 million persons on quarantine and the U.S. having over 437 cases and two confirmed cases in Nigeria, what are the smart ways of keeping far off the virus? You must make that conscious effort not to touch the face so that you don't increase the chances or the risk of uh, uh, catching this uh, disease. So if you're coughing, make sure you uh, cover up so that you don't uh, spread droplets coming out of that. Everybody should know that you wash your hands. Once you go out, you wash your hands. If you come in, you wash your hands. If you go to the toilet, you wash it. Before you eat, you wash it. If you cough, you wash your hands. And with the WHO declaring COVID-19 a public health emergency, should Nigerians panic? There's no cause for alarm. You see, one, one thing that uh, at every point we try to emphasize is um, to, the need to avoid panic, the need to avoid hysteria. We should spread facts and not fears. Please, Lagosians should not panic. Everything is in control. Lagos has the highest number of Chinese all over the country. There is a hub of Chinese in Lagos State. Um, and we know that um, we can restrict, there is freedom of movement. We can restrict their movements to and fro into Nigeria. What we rather need to do as a health system is to beef up our own health facilities and capacity to be able to detect both at the borders those who are coming in and those who are going out of Nigeria. This is not the best time to go for a business trip in China, in Italy, in Korea, or any of the high boarding countries. It's not the best of times. And if by any chance you've traveled and you're back from any of those areas, do self-isolation. 
with almost 110,000 cases of the coronavirus confirmed across the world. What medical experts at the Nigerian Medical Research Center are saying is to immediately stop the spread of fake news across social media and pick up regular respiratory and hand washing practices. From Lagos, Nigeria, Mary Chinda reporting for Plus TV Africa. Thank <laughs> you.